Hello folks, um, we have another adventure, it's a four day adventure, but well, we're going to turn it into a four day, you could probably do this in two, I think the average is three, uh, we just have the time, so we're going to uh, enjoy it, uh, and, and it, this trip is going to take us to Maine, to the Grafton Loop Trail, it's a fairly new trail in New England, it's probably, I believe it's like seven or eight years old, um, Kind of unknown. I mean, it's way off the beaten path. Uh, it's up by Bethel, Maine, which is uh, the backside of uh, or the ridge line of Sunday River Ski Area, which is right here. And then Bethel, Maine is down here. So if you know where the, you know, if you're a New Englander, you know where Sunday River is. And this is Route 26. And this is the uh, Grafton Notch State Park right here. And we have parking up here. Now, this is the Appalachian Trail. It comes up through here, through the northern part of the park, and continues north up towards uh, uh, northern Maine, central Maine, Katahdin. Um, so we're going we're gonna to park here, and I think we're going to do this clockwise. And uh, we're, we're probably going to get up there about 5 o'clock, maybe 6 o'clock on a, on a uh, Friday evening. And the plan is is to hike over here to the first shelter on the AT, which is Ball Plate Lean To. Now this is about a 2.2 mile hike, but granted it's going to be up all the way. But I feel we can do that uh, maybe an hour and a half, something. Like it depends on the elevation. It looks like we're going to have to do some really climbing to get out of this gap here, this hole, and get up there. Um, so that's the plan is to get there for Friday night, and then. Uh, Saturday, we're going to continue along here, and then right about here, uh, the trail, uh, there's a fork, and we're, we're not going to take, we're not going to go left, we're not going to keep going straight, we're going to, we're going to bear off here and stay on the Grafton Loop, and we're going to come down. Um, I'm hoping to get Saturday night down here. We may end up having to stay here. We'll see what time we get here to the t uh, town corner campsite. Um... You know, so this we we have time. We can we can wing it here, but I would I would like to get down here, but that may be a stretch. This is I think twelve miles to so go from here all the way down is twelve. Uh, this is very rugged. We're going to be doing some uh, you know we're going to be going up on some balls, taking pictures, and so we're going to you know get a, stop, have lunch, get water. Um, so that may be stretching it trying to get here. So let's just say we get up here to the uh, campsite here, and then. Um, Sunday, we'll continue down, and now this is going to be another major stretch here. Uh, I think this is from 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 here all the way over. This is you have a campsite here, but then this is your next campsite. Now this is a lot of this is private, so you have no stealth camping here. You have to stay at the designated campsites. Um, they all have water. I believe they all have beer boxes. So we're going to, that's another thing too. We're probably going to, I know we're going to leave our uh, canisters home because that's two pounds. So we'll leave the canisters home. We're going to bear bag it and uh, use the, uh, use the uh, bear boxes at these uh, tent sites. So um, sa sun Saturday we'll hike down again. We may end up here. Sunday probably going to try to get over to here. We don't have to. We can we can come down here, but this is going to be a short hike. So I'm going to play that by ear too. I really like like to get down here Saturday night. And then um Sunday night we can stay right over here. Uh and then we have Monday and Tuesday off. So Monday I'm looking to, to, to uh, traverse this area, and this is really high up here. I mean, we're going to be going over Sunday River. So there's be some spectacular views here and, and obviously on the balls up there on the other side. Uh, so we're going to probably take our time through here. So Monday night, I think I would like to try to get to work our way back here to the AT and then just head south on the AT to the uh, Spec Pond campsite. I'm dying to run into some uh, northbound through hikers. I like to pick their brain because I'm going to be doing this next year, the whole AT. Uh, although I'm from New England, so I really, you know, 
I kind of know what, what what's up here because we, we hike it, so I'm, I'm sure they're not going to have any information uh, or not much that I'm going to be uh, looking at or, or, or they'll be new to me. Um, so we're going to stay here. Um, and then uh, Tuesday, we'll work our way back to our car, which would be over here. And that's probably, I think that's, uh, well, right here shows you the, uh, you can't see it on the screen, but but the two mile, so from here to here is two miles. So it's probably three, three and a half miles from the shelter to the car, okay? Um, so that's, that's going to be the loop. I'm going to take a lot of photos, a lot of shots. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think this is going to be, so this is what I'm looking for. I'm preparing for September's long trail through hike, and this I need this to... Um, really test out my gear. Unfortunately, I won't have this hammock set up. I still have not received my uh, underquilt and overquilt. So I'll be tenting it, but um, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm th and I think the weather's going to hold out. I think we have four days of sun, but you never know in the mountains. So we'll, uh, we'll see. But uh, so I'll let you go. And um, the next shot you'll see, hopefully we will be on the trail. Okay. Okay, we made it. What a what a fiasco this was. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We're finally getting here. This is way, way up. I underestimated the time getting here. We couldn't make it last night. We had to stop at a campground. We couldn't even find, we couldn't find anywhere to uh, set up. Um, they're pretty strict here. You can't go off the road and into the woods. You'll, you'll get ticketed and towed. But here's a spec. Well, actually, this is a... Uh, this is the this is the AT, but this is the north. This is the southbound side up there, and uh, we're going to be going over that way, right over there. We're going to be doing a counterclockwise. Ah, uh, excuse me, clockwise, not counterclockwise. So, all right, let's uh, get ready. Okay, we're all packed up. Here's the AT over there. Got to walk down the road here. I don't know, 100 yards, I guess. Over here, Hannah, Hannah. And, uh, here's the AT. Northbound. And here's the AT. Southbound. So we're going northbound. Here it is. Yay! Here, take our picture. Did it take? It was on video. Oh, still on video though. I was pushing push the Your turn, get up there. Get up there, official photo. Oh, I official photo. Do something funny. That's good. <laughs> okay, folks, we're finally here. It's 1018 and we finally made it to the Grafton Loop Trail. All right, get back to her in a little while. Our first stop is going to be the shelter on the AT, two miles up. All right.
Well, it's 12.15, so it took us, we left at 10.20, uh, 10.20, 10 20, 10 20, 11 20, a little under two hours to get to the shelter, the first shelter. We're out of shape. The first day is always tough, but uh, here we are at Ball Plate Lean To off the AT, and uh, I have lunch, and then... Uh, We'll hit the uh, hit the trail again. We haven't even got on the uh, Grafton Loop Trail yet. There's still another two miles, I think, to the north. So, clouds are rolling in, so I don't know what's going on up here. It was supposed to be beautiful four days, but you never know in the mountains. So, at least, well, it's not too bad. It's cool, probably. What do you think, Donna? 70? Probably about 70 degrees. Could be. So, yeah. Not sure. Yeah, hen is tired. It was uh, basically, I'd say the first hour or so was straight up, non-stop. Then it kind of leveled off a little bit, so gave us a little break. But then we got to go up again. I think we got to go up 700 feet or so. Uh, it will get beyond the ball. I can't wait to get up there. That should be beautiful up there. So we'll take pictures when we get there. Okay, bye. Okay, folks, here we are. We made it all day. Took us to get up here on West Peak. Oops. Careful, a little slippery here. Uh, here we are. Look at the view here. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. And um, I believe that's West Peak. That's the one we got to go up next. Then we'll work our way down. Here are the. Uh, You know, the, the Qurans. Whoop. Yeah, taking a nap. What a place to have a nap, huh? All right, we're gonna follow the markers here, but this is, uh, look at this, huh? Look at the wind What's that? Look at the wind generators. Where? They're spoiling the view. What wind generators? Are those wind generators? Oh yeah, way, way over here. Yeah, good thing it's not a clear day because that would spoil the view. Yeah, let me see if I can zoom in on them. See those wind generators over there, folks? Actually, it's a good place for them, you know, when you think about it. But, oh well. Okay, let's, uh, I guess this is where we go. We continue on. No, we got to get going, hon. We got to get over that next one and then at least work our way down. It's already here. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, folks. So, uh, I think we got the hardest part over with now, so... I don't know how we're going to climb up that thing, but anyway, that's this should be a trail somewhere over there. Ah, <sighs> but this is uh, this is oh, look at this, huh? Little hazy, but uh, look at the lakes over there. I'll try. I'll zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see a little bit better if I zoom in. Yeah. I'll go pan it really slow. Yeah, this was definitely worth it. This is nice. All right, we're tackling the next one right there. Here we go.
Now we're almost up there to the East Bald, I guess they call it. There's a little, there's a little AT mark. We're almost there, hon. We're right there. And this is what we gotta go up now. We gotta follow these Korans. And we're almost there. All right. This is awesome. This is really, really awesome. We picked a good day, too. Little breeze, not too bad. Yeah, Enough to keep the bugs away. Yeah. It mostly worked up top. Uh, we're almost there. We got about, I don't know, I'm gonna say an elevation, 100 feet, maybe 75 feet to go. I don't know if you can hear me, the wind's blowing. About 75 feet to go, we'll be at the summit. This is awesome. worth climbing up here all day to get to. Almost there. Almost there. Imagine doing this if it was foggy. No way. Oh. We're on the right trail. All right. Look at this thing. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a selfie. dragging. She's dragging. <laughs> She's dragging. Stand in front of this thing. We need proof that you made it. It wasn't photoshopped. There we go. Yay! All right, now we gotta get down. Now we gotta find the trail. We gotta find the trail to uh, the Grafton Loop. Gotta hunt for that. Okay. Talk to you people later if you can hear me. Alright, we took a, we got a little sidetracked here. When you leave that last lodge, it is a, it is a marker, but when you leave that last lodge last lodge uh Quran or Tower of Rocks, you kind of lose a trail a little bit. Just keep keep looking to the east. You'll eventually hit it again. There's a section there that's really mucky and mossy, and, and then you'll see these two signs from a distance. And this is what you're trying to get to, are these two signs. One is the AT, and one should be... Here we go. Yeah. Graft and Loop Trail. All right, this is the one we want. I don't know where it is, but... Okay. And then this one up here should be the AT, Appalachian Trail sign. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is it. This is the peak right here. 3,812 3, feet. And we started at 1,500. The road was at 1,500. Yeah. He got a northbounder over there. He's heading for Katahdin. We are gonna. Uh, we gotta find this trail. We're heading. We're heading off the mountain now. Now we gotta get down somehow. But I don't know where this trail is. I had an. I had an arrow there, but. Well, let's go look. Okay, folks. Wish us luck. Here we go. Actually, let me go over here. And give you a. Another panorama view. 
come over on this side. Yeah, look at this. Okay, here's the east. Katahdin. There it is. Look at that. I didn't think you could see it from here. See it there, folks? Way in the haze, just beyond those windmills. I would say that's the tallest thing around. That may be Katahdin. this is. It's a bird up there, some kind of bird. Oh. Where'd it go? Looks like a dove. Some kind of dove. No, maybe a quail. There it is. Maybe a small quail? I don't know what it is. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be flying away though, just hopping from branch to branch. Hopefully it's not hurt. No. Is it a baby? No, it's not a baby. Uh -uh. Hopefully it's not going to attack us. Mm -hmm. Maybe, hopefully it doesn't have a nest. Where did it go? Hello. Oh, there he is. Hello, little bird. Hey. Leave him alone. Okay. <laughs> We're just passing through. Don't attack us. We're just passing through. Remember the seagulls on that island with the weird people? Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. Do they handle? What do we do with Henry? Well, she can walk down, she can walk, I'll, I'll get on the ladder, she can, I don't know, she can uh, walk down there, or... You gotta take her pack off. Yeah, or she can walk down here and go around the rock, she'll find her own trail around. Alright, but we'll take her pack off and her leash. Okay, alright, this looks, this is going to be a engineering feat here, look at this. We'll take her pack off here. Okay, here we go folks. We're going to take her pack off. We're coming down the uh, back side of Ball Mountain. First campsite is um, two and a half miles down. I think we've gone about a mile now. But we just had some challenging, a challenge, the ladder, the ladder, the rebar episode. That was a little challenging, but we got down. Had no problem with Hannah. She walked down the side and then she had to jump five feet. Uh, and I had her. I grabbed her, so I had her in the air when she was making that leap. Uh, I like I like the backside. This is really dense, dense forest, and um, it's not worn like the AT. You can see there's still a lot of moss on the ground and uh, pine needles. Uh, but over the years, I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to end up see a little bit of wearing here now with the heavy rains. But uh, it's very minimal. Uh, I like this side. But, oh, we got some rock formation here. What do we got going here? We're just taking our time, you know. We're just enjoying the woods, the back country. It's not a race. I know we passed a few people, and they were trying to do it in two days, one day each side. But they are, they are really working at it. Oh, we do have a cave. We have a bear cave over here. Look at this, folks. Wow. Whoa. Anything in there? You want to go check it out? You want to check it out, Donna? No. Come on. Come on. No. All right. We're going to check it out. Hannah, go check it out. Yeah, really. Here, yeah, bear, bear, bear. Who's in here? Somebody's in there. What the hell is that? Oh, somebody stashed their gear, their pack in there. Oh, okay. What is that all about? Huh. Well, we're not going to touch it, but that's interesting. I wonder I wonder why somebody's out here and they left their pack. 
this is the side of a mountain hunt. There's no road you slack pack from a road. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, that's strange. Well, huh. Now where's the trail? That's another clue. I think it goes that way. Look for the blue blaze on the tree. Do you see a blue blaze on the tree? Yeah. There's a blue blaze right there. So where do we go from here? All right, let me let's check this way around this rock. And it doesn't look like a trail though. Um, we're lost already, folks. No, this isn't the trail. It, the trail's got to be back over here. See, this is the fun part. This is the fun part. We haven't gotten lost yet where we had to press the SOS button. But this is really strange. Huh? I don't know why they would leave that pack there. You know, it could have been, it could have been those, those um, environmentalists up on top of the mountain, Donna. They were setting those traps. That that could be, you know, their gear for the night. Yeah, yeah. We met these environment uh, environmentalists up on top. They were setting traps to see what critters actually live on top of the bald. That was pretty interesting. So that's got to be their gear. Yeah. But so they may spend the night with us at the campsite when they come down because the nearest campsite's right where we're headed. Well, that's it. There's few spots, so we're hoping it's not all taken. But a mile and a half. Uh, here's a blue blaze. All right, a mile and a half from this spot. There's another. There's another. There's another tent site. So uh, we have options. We have options. All right, folks. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to show you this. This is this is a real nice trail. But I would do it in three days. I wouldn't rush to try to get it done in a weekend. You're gonna, we're going to come up in some swimming holes. We were talking to a guy earlier today, and he took an hour, and he stopped on this side. And he said he, was, he went swimming. He was a beautiful swimming hole. So hopefully we're going to run into that tomorrow. And we're in no rush. We have three more days. So we're probably going to stop and swim if, if the sun ever comes back out. And... Um, so I wouldn't rush through here. It's all about enjoying it. Why rush through it? And then you, then you snap, and then you sprain an ankle or whatever. Okay, I'm going to put this way. There's a blue blaze. So you follow the blue blaze. All right. All right. Ball plate campsite. There's only room for three tents, though, and they put a privy up for three tents. Doesn't make sense to me, but uh, here it is. No fires, which is fine. We're too tired to have a fire anyway. It's uh, six o'clock, so long day, long day. Tough trail, people. I gotta tell you, it was a tough trail. I don't know how these people do it in two days. Um, so I'm taking a walk over here. There's already one tent. There's already a, somebody here, a couple. There are moose, moose droppings all over here. So we're going to have, probably have company tonight on the tent site. Finally get to see a moose. Um, I hear water. I don't know where the water is, but I can hear it. Probably take a walk down there. Yeah, here's water right there. See? Um, here's our sights. There's one sight right there, and there's one sight where Donna is standing in the background there. And then we got a tent six feet from us on oh on the opposite side of a big fallen down tree. All right, we got an arrow here. We know it's water. I can hear it. All right. But maybe there's a campsite down here, a little closer to it, too. Have a little privacy. Those people are probably sleeping because I didn't hear any, any movement. The boots are outside of the tent. 
So nobody's there. Yeah. I don't think there's a campsite down here. I'm not coming down here empty-handed. I better go back and get my water jugs. All right, folks. We'll uh, take a picture of the setup. And then uh, we'll, we'll talk to you uh, in the morning. All right, bye. Well, good morning. Nice night last night. Uh, not too cold. Get down to 54. Not bad. Uh, 7 a.m. We're having breakfast here. About ready to hit the trail. I'm going to try to uh, get down to a Puzzle Mountain and um, see what happens on the way. All right. Okay, we made it to, we're at the top of Lane Mountain. Not much of a view here, but we got clouds over there. We might end up at rain this afternoon, hon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not much of a view here, folks, but all right, now we're heading down. We got another campsite we're going to head to. It's about 2.3 miles, I think. Okay. Out. Well, we came up on this little side trail and I uh, decided to take it. And this is what it gave us. Look at this. It's a uh, lookout. I didn't see this on the map. Beautiful. There's, uh, there's Sunday, I'll, tune, I'll uh, see if I can zoom in on it. There's Sunday River right there. Oh, let's go the other way. Yep, this way. There's Sunday River right there. That's where we would have ended up, but we're running behind. That's going to be another... That'll be part two. That's on the other side of this whole valley. So there's... There's uh, Donna. That mountain there, that's Puzzle Mountain. That's the one we got to go up and over to get down to the highway. That's the last the mountain. Right there. Yeah, well, we can't get down there from here. We got to go over that little mountain there. You can't get there. Then down, and then that's Puzzle Mountain there. So we got to go over that mountain. That's where we're going to spend the night at the base of that mountain. Uh -huh. Tomorrow we'll go up over it and down, and then we're going to hitchhike back uh -huh. along this road. Uh, because uh, Graft and Notch is that way you can see how it cuts through the mountain so that's where we parked is up there so we need to thumb along here to get back to our car which I don't we'll see hopefully we can do it I don't want to walk it but how many miles? that's quite a few it's like 15 miles or so yeah there we go yeah all right we'll knock there are there are houses and farms along here maybe we can borrow a horse and we'll just ride up <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, we'll get a ride. I'm not, I'm not worried. Oh, Ann lives here. We'll call Ann. There you go. A cousin. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we, we got to continue on. I'm, that's making me nervous. Over that, cl the sky over there is black. I don't want to be up here if we're gonna have thunderstorms. I'd rather be in a valley. But we got one more mountain to climb, and then we'll be, we'll be in good shape for the rest of the afternoon. All right, out. All right, we're. Uh, I don't know what time it is. What time is it, hon? It's 10.15. We're still on our way. We're following this little brook, river. Lots, lots of moose, moose droppings. I mean, lots. They must like this area for some reason. And look at this. We have a swimming hole here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We might... We might have to take a break here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, Hannah's looking. Hannah's looking. Hannah, Hannah, come, come. Come up here, come. Oh, this looks even better over here. Hello. A little tricky coming down here though, but uh, look at that. Into a pool. I think I think it's 
I think it's time to take a swim. Yep. Well, we're gonna find out. We got a little beach here too. Look at this. We have a wait. We have a we have a warming pool over here, stagnant. This is probably a little more temperate. Now, Hannah, over here. And then we have a real swimming pool here. I think we're going swimming. I think uh, after the way I've been sweating and everything, do a little, we're gonna do a little laundry. Yeah, and change our clothes. Oh, geez. All right, here we go. Okay, for uh oh, did I feel a raindrop? No, I hope not. Don't ruin it on us here. All right, we're going in. Talk to you later. We got out of the woods. We've been coming down off a of lane mountain. What a nice trail. This is, this is a real nice section. Um, now would they put us on this old logging road. And, um, oh, 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 bear, look at this, bear scat. Wow. Look at that. That's a big bear. Yeah, uh-oh. Okay, Hannah, get away from there. Yeah, well, we knew that. Um, we had coyotes right in front of us earlier today. We didn't know what they were doing. They were right on a trail. We didn't see them, but they were they were howling away. And then a few minutes later, two women were coming our way. So I think what happened was they got trapped on the trail from both ways. They didn't know which way to go, so they started howling. Then they must have they must have headed off the trail somewhere. Um, but yeah, we're on this fire road. And it says follow, there was a sign back there that said follow the fire road for a quarter mile. And um, that's what we're doing. So I figured I'd take out, take out the camera here and show you what we're doing. It's, uh, it's 3 o'clock. Actually, it's closer to 4 now. And it's 3.30, the co-pilot said. So we have about a mile and a half to go to the next campsite, which is uh, Stewart Campsite. Yeah, Stewart Campsite. And uh, we'll, uh, we then we'll have five miles to hike out tomorrow to the road. So you could do this, do one half in a weekend. There's no way you can do the whole loop in a weekend. Just, it, no way. It's just, yeah, you'd have to be coming right off the eight, doing your whole AT through hike, and you're doing 30 miles a day, then maybe you could do the whole thing in a weekend, but there's no way an average person can do this. No way. It's very, very technical and tough at the beginning, near the gap. And we haven't even gone on the other side where you got to climb up the back side of Sunday River. So this is definitely... Doable two days on either side, east or west. Two sides, two days each. So plan on that. I mean, yeah, plan on it. <laughs> because, uh. Unless you're in good shape, some people can do it. Yeah, well. Some young, in shape people. Not too many. I'm, I'm speaking here for the average person. Speaking for us. Yeah, speaking for us, yeah. The elder folk. Um, the double blues. Where? Okay, here's our turn coming up. All right, folks. Oh, she's got me all tangled here. Um, all right, so we're still trucking along. We had a little rain today. We got to take out our umbrellas and uh, 
didn't really amount to too much. It got us a little wet, but not not dripping, not soaking wet. And now it's just overcast, so but it's still humid. I hate the humidity. All right, we're going back into the woods. Look at this, Hannah already. She already knows. She's just following somebody's scent. All right, folks. Catch you later. Okay. Here's home sweet home for tonight. Just had dinner. Set up the tent. Got the food hanging. Took our showers. We had nice showers. Yeah, we're the only ones here. Privies up on the hill. What more can you ask for, huh? Yeah, we're gonna. We got sunset coming up right over here. So we're at Stewart Tent Site. We are what five miles from the road, but we have to go up Puzzle Mountain. Well, we're kind of at the base of Puzzle Mountain. But we have to go up to Puzzle Mountain. It's 3,000, almost 3,100 feet. And then I just looked. The road's at 750. Whew. So we're going to have fun going down. Um, should be Hopefully, this, it rained all morning. Very, very light, though. And right now, I, I think all the clouds are departed. Yeah, there isn't a cloud in the sky down. Yep. So whatever came through this morning, it's gone now, and uh, hopefully it's probably going to get cool tonight. But um, we should have a good morning to hike on out of here. And it was a good trip. I like this east side. The east side of the Grafton Loop is, um, I liked it. It was really nice. Uh First day up by the Grafton State Park, where that's where we, we started from, where the AT is. That was challenging. That was very, very challenging. But then, yes, uh, today, uh, today was pretty good. Nice trails. Um, one one small ladder we had to go down. I think you'll, you'll see a picture of that. Um, So let me just show you what I do with my beer. I use the Pacific Crest PCT, Pacific Crest Trail Hanging Method. And um, you throw the line up, and you'll see a Caribbean right there. See the Caribbean? The line goes back through the Caribbean. You haul the food up as far as it will go. And head high where you are on the bottom, you put a stick on the line, then you lower the bag, and the bag will only come down till it hits the stick. Then it can't come down anymore. The bears can tug on this thing, they can do whatever they want. They're not getting that food down, it won't come down. It's not like it's not like what they what we used to do where you put a line from the tree to a tree, hang it in the middle, they just go up the tree, hit the line and, and the food's down. Um or or what you did is you, you threw a line up and then you brought the line down and tied it to a tree. They would just come down and, and just cut that string and the food would come right down. So this is the best way to do a Pacific Crest Trail method. And um, a lot of, well, not a lot. Those that do their research, um, they, they will, they're the ones that are usually going to this method. I've seen quite a few of the ATers. They don't go. They don't do it like this. Uh, but this is the easiest I found. And uh, there's no way a bear, bear can climb up that tree. He's not getting that food. So um, there's something I wanted to show you, I guess. Okay, so we will uh, talk to you tomorrow at some point on Puzzle Mountain. Okay, we're packing up. Got a tip for you. <laughs> Don't leave your food on the ground unattended for minutes. We were gone for like five minutes just around the campsite. And the critters got to us. 
and they ate my lunch for today. So, little rat bastards. <laughs> Dirty rat bastards. <laughs> they are rat family. They are rats, yeah. Rats. So, we protected against the bears, but the little chipmunks got us. So you gotta be careful. You gotta watch out for the little guys. They sneak up on you. Just a little tip. So I think we're gonna have to bring the beer beer canisters now. We don't have to worry about this stuff. All right, we're gonna hit the trail here in a few minutes. I think we're pretty close to the top of Ball Mountain here. I don't see it going up much more, a little bit, but it wasn't too bad of a climb. They had some real nice sweeping, uh, um, what do you call them, switchbacks. And uh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, considering, well, here we are. We're overlooking the valley here. Um, basically right there see the gap see those two humps that's what we went over the first day east bald and east bald and then we came down a little bit and we found our first camp but those are the two that we did uh two days ago and uh, right there is uh, let me zoom in for you here yeah. there's the there's the gap the valley beyond that where the road is it goes around that point and then then we went up there there's uh there's West Bald or Bald. There's East Bald. And then we came down and we've been we've been following these mountains all the way. And then we came we came back here through the valley. Well not through the valley, but yeah, maybe no, we came around over there, way over there through the gap. Let me let me zoom back here. There's a there's a gap right here. We came around the gap, then we've been coming around this mountain like this. And then we finally worked our way up here. So Real nice trail, real nice trail system. What a nice day too. There is probably a one mile an hour breeze, if that. Huh, Donna? I mean, it, I can just about feel it. Yeah, yeah it's really nice, calm, but it's uh, probably 68 degrees, 70 maybe. We just picked a real good day. I'm glad it cleared out. I had envisions of it raining up here from yesterday afternoon. I thought something. I thought something was rolling in. Yeah, last time we bragged, something did roll in, but we won't brag yet. Okay, so now we gotta go down. We're at 3,000. Now we gotta go down, all the way down here at 750 feet. So hopefully they have a nice trail system going down. All right, here we go. All right, we're down off the uh, summit. And we came to this little intersection here, this little fork. And uh, I guess you can go this way to another spur trail that takes you around uh, the southeastern corner of the mountain. And then back down to 26, it's 4.3 supposedly. Uh, oh no, this will take us back to the same trail, Donna. It's just that this trail here is, adds another 1.7 miles to it. Yeah, that little loop it's have. a loop and it comes back to this trail, right. But then this is a left. So here this is the trail this is the trail we came up. And then right here is the other fork that will lead us back down the mountain. And um I don't understand what this says summit the puzzle mountain point three. I don't know what that is. I thought we were on the summit. We're going down now. Unless that's where that little spur trail comes back in and meets us here. Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay. I know the signs here, and then it also says at the bottom, 
our campsite was 2.7 miles away. That means we did 2.7 miles in 50 minutes. Not, not that didn't happen. So that's these signs are not right. Uh, yeah, we we must have been in a different campsite. But I thought I saw a sign that says Stewart Campsite. And we never found the raised platform, so I don't know where they are. 2.7 miles from <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're going down this way, 3.4 to Route 26. And uh, it's dark, though. This side of the mountain is dark because it's all pine trees. I almost had to take out my headlamp. Not that bad, but, I mean, it's noticeably dark. Your glasses will lighten up. Yeah, okay. Look at it. Yeah, I'll follow you with that bright shirt. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're going down. All right, this is Puzzle Mountain. I know why they got the name. <sighs> because we just, we just came, yeah, we just came across, we, yes, we did. We came down there. Yeah, there are the trees that we crossed yesterday. See, the, see where they did the logging? Right, we came down there. We stayed in the valley uh, right here. We came up this mountain this morning, which I thought was Puzzle Mountain. Then we went over to that little knoll. Then we came down. Now we're back here. And this is, this, according to that map, this was the summit of Puzzle Mountain. It said 3.10. Well, here we are, 3.10. So here's the back side of it. We'll follow this trail right here. It'll, I didn't touch it. And then uh, we'll get to the other side, but I'm going to show you the back side. So I just explained to you what we did the last couple of days. But this is the back side of it. Look at that, huh? All right. And there, if you look really close again, you can, um, you can see that road. There it is. All right. And there, is the, there are the two balls again. So we're, we're getting down there, but... We're going to go on the other side of the mountain here, and we we'll, should be looking right at Sunday River. <sighs> this mountain's got me confused. All right, here we go. We're officially here. Here's the marking. Puzzle Mountain, the surveyor. Uh, and there's uh, Sunday River. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it here on my screen. Um, Hopefully you can see it. And uh, oh, here's, it's even higher over here. They're shortchanging themselves with that with that marker. Oh, here's another marker. Okay. So we are definitely on the highest point now. This is it, baby, Puzzle Mountain. Oh yeah, it is pretty high. This is the other side. Oh, nice. Wow. I didn't realize Sunday River had that many ski slopes. Look at them. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to. Here's Bethel, Maine, down there. A little hazy today, but not too bad. And here's a good shot of the notch. Go right around, and there's where I thought was Puzzle Mountain. <laughs> I have no idea. Now, I don't even know how do we get down. Where's the trail to get down? <laughs> this this has got to be it right here, I would think. <laughs> this is confusing, folks. I'll tell you. We'll get down somehow. All right. See you later. <laughs> we found our way down. A little confusing. But you gotta walk back from that final large rock Quran Quran pile and uh, look to the north and you'll see you'll see a trail coming down. It was a little tough to find, but it's there. Don't give up. Don't turn back and go back. All right.
Yes, folks, this is the trail. <laughs> I knew it was going to be challenging coming down because we're in such a short distance from the road and we have to go down, oh, 2,500 feet, something like that. No, 2,300. It was going to be like this, so. So be prepared. I'm glad I'm going down, though, and not up this. Coming up this way is going to be tough. All right. Well, hello, folks. Uh, we made it. Uh, we got off the mountain at about 1.30 this afternoon. And um, we were made, able to uh, hitch a ride from uh, where we came off the trail right here. We were um, when we came out when we came out of the trail. There were this older couple. They were putting on their boots in their their car. We came walking out of the wo woods, yelling, "Yay, we made it alive!" And they they turned around and asked us where we came from. So we gave them the story that we started up here and we spent uh, a couple of days working our way down. And. Um, we told them that we left our car up here at the uh, park, the National Park parking lot. And she goes, well, I thought this was the parking lot. And um, my wife and I, we decided, uh, right, well, we didn't decide, but it clicked in our brain that we should probably convince them that this isn't the spot they want to hike at, that they want to hike up here at the park. And maybe if they were nice, they would give us a ride up. And... Um, after talking with them for a few minutes, it was a, it was clear that this wasn't the spot they wanted to go to in the first place. They drove up from Bethel, and all they saw was that little sign that said Grafton Loop Parking. They thought they were at the Grafton Loop National Park, and uh, they weren't. And so they had decided anyway that they would, you know, get back in their vehicle and shoot up to the National Park. And... Um, they were kind enough to make room for us, and uh, so all three of us, well, Donna and I and the dog, uh, we got we all crammed in their little SUV, and uh, and uh, we hitched a ride. So we got a ride up to the park here. Uh, worked out pretty well. And uh, so I'm just going to go over quickly what actually happened on this here trip. Uh, I showed you at the beginning what our plan was. And um, it didn't quite work out the way we were hoping. So here goes, and hopefully you'll learn from it. We, uh, we did park up here. We didn't get up here until Saturday, and we didn't get on the trail till about 10.30 Saturday morning. It took me much longer than I had figured to get to Bethel. And just one thing after another just led to delays. Um, so we, had a, we were half a day behind schedule to begin with. But anyway, we got here. We got on the trail, and we did make it up to the shelter. I don't know. I think it was uh, 3 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock, something like that. We had our lunch. Actually, I think it was closer to 1.30. We had our lunch. And then, uh, as you saw in the video, we worked our way over to the Balls, uh, the Ball Hair Mountains. And um, uh, very nice, beautiful. Um, this here it was the AT. This is a 4,000 footer here uh, ball plate, and um, it was a climb. It was definitely a climb. Uh, some of the north bounders that we ran into and we were hiking with for a few minutes, they were saying it was a challenge. And this is coming from people who have got 2,000 miles under their uh, feet. So keep that in mind. This is uh, this was a little this was steep coming up here. It took us a couple of hours to get up to that shelter. And uh, from there, then we had to work over to the other bald over here, um, which you saw the photos. It was incredible, really, really spectacular uh, climb. Uh, and then it's, it was a little troubling trying to find this little uh, Grafton Loop trail right off the uh, peak up there. But you'll stick with it. You'll see it. You'll find it. And... Um, um, once you get down here, this here part, as you can see with the contour lines here, the elevation lines, it was very steep coming down. Uh, wasn't, you know, wasn't hard, but you got to take your time. You're not going to, at least we, we weren't about to rush through this. We didn't want to, uh, take a misstep 
and there was a technical area there where you had to do some climbing down some rebar and there were some ladders you had to go down so keep that in mind and we did make it to uh, the uh, East Ball campsite um, there was another camper there like I showed you uh, there's only room for maybe three tents that's it so um, you know and this is we only saw this whole trail we only ran into maybe three people, I believe. That was it. And then maybe one, one last couple down here that were, that were coming up. Um, and that was it. This is a very quiet trail. Um, no, a lot of uh, moose, moose sightings, though. Not sightings, but droppings. So the, you could have some sightings there. With the dog, we, you know, they stayed away from us. Um, this whole middle part, we, we, went, past, we pent, went past the Lane campsite the second day. Uh, we didn't actually walk down the trail to check it out. Uh, this whole area was right along a river. We did go swimming for about 15 minutes, and then the rain came in on us, so that was the end of that swimming session. But right, right around this area, there's some nice swimming holes in there, so you could stay here. This one here, we walked by here that second day, which was Sunday, and... Um, they had you could see the trail on the opposite side of the river going up to this campsite but they had it all blocked off with trees they had cut down some pine trees and laid them across the trail for some reason they don't want you using that campsite uh it could be bad water i don't know what it is but so we didn't go in there we walked right by it did not see town corner campsite don't know where it is we, we i mean i was keeping my eyes open i uh i don't know where it is we, I don't know how we walked by it. We never even saw it. This section here, this whole section anyway, is a beautiful trail. Some ups and downs. A lot of it is on more, uh, solid moss and pine needles. Um, very, very dense forest though. At, at some point you'd think you might have to take out your headlamp in the middle of the day. I mean, it was really dense, but, but beautiful. Very, very isolated in through here. Very well marked. Uh, just follow the blue blazes until you get to about here. There's a one mile section here that there's some kind of dispute going, I believe. This is my speculation with the uh, landowner. Uh, they were the blue blazers stop all of a sudden, no blue blazers, and you stand there going, All right, what's happening here? And then, but you'll see orange or fluorescent orange surveyor tape in the trees marking the trail, and just follow it. There'll be some fire roads, snowmobile trails, just stay on the main trail, you can't, you can't miss it. And follow the, it looks like the color of this, uh, this light right here. Follow those surveyor tapes. And, and for some reason, the landowners probably do not want liability, but they're allow, unofficially, they're allowing hikers to hike through. So they didn't want that blazes on their property, probably. Like I said, I'm just guessing, but it's got to be some sort of liability problem, I guess. And um, so just bear with it and um, you'll work your way. And then all of a sudden, you're going to come to the Stewart Family Management, Forest Management or Land Management Trust. You'll see a sign. And then right there, the blue blazes start all over again. And uh, so there's about a mile there that, you know, it's um, follow the tape, not the blue, the blue markers, okay? And uh, then you, you'll come into uh, the, the Stewart Family Trust, which owns all of this here, um, Puzzle Mountain area. Again, beautiful, nice trail. There was a, somebody a day ahead of us with a chainsaw cutting up a lot of the fallen down, um, you know, blow down stuff. We could hear, we were up here, and I could hear the chainsaw, and Donna's going, what's that? I said, it sounds like a chainsaw. Somebody's cutting firewood. Well, by the time we got here late in the day, I could see fresh cuttings, and I, I knew that that's where the, where the sound was coming from. Somebody was clearing the trail back here, so that was pretty nice. Um, so we got to the Stewart campsite. Somewhere uh, it says... Um, uh, the uh, side trail, 300 feet long with raised tent platforms, never found them. Don't know where they are. We looked all over the place. We did find one campsite, pretty large. 
you could probably fit two tents, maybe three, squeeze them in there. But we only found one tent site uh, here. I don't know where the other ones were. Um, it could be in the future. Maybe they had this uh, put on the uh, pamphlet, and um, they just never had. They never had. They haven't got to it yet. But uh, uh, nice water here. Uh, there was a fire ring there. We're not supposed to have fires. It looked like whoever was doing the trail maintenance had their fire there uh, Sunday, Saturday night because some of the logs that were in the fire ring were cut with a chainsaw. So I don't know too many hikers that have a chainsaw when they go in there. So, uh, But they can get away with it because they work for the people who own the mountain. So, But I, we didn't have a fire. We didn't want to be the ones blamed for shutting down this trail. So um, don't, again, don't, don't have any fires. Um, they don't want, it's private land. They don't want you to burn. So we respected that. This is where we were robbed from that little four-legged creature. Beware of the chipmunk in this campsite. He's very brazen. We left our food for five minutes. Five minutes, we were in the tent, 10 feet away. The sucker came out of the woods, ate a hole in my bag, and ate half of my peanut butter sandwich. Watch out for that sucker. So anyway... Uh, we left there on Monday, and we climbed the, uh, the spur here. We didn't do the spur trail, but we climbed the summit. Um, for some reason, the, the, the uh, sign says it's two and a half miles. Well, we did it in 50 minutes. We climbed that in 50 minutes. So that, that's got to be wrong. There's no way we did two and a half miles. No way. Not going up. It was very, very steep. Um, and, and very technical, too. Uh, going up ledges and... Um, but what a beautiful sight. You saw, you know, you, see, you obviously if you got this far, you saw the photos. Uh, very worth doing. We, I, would, I would probably, if we, well, we did have time. We just wanted to get down. I would say do that loop. It's, it adds an extra mile to your, uh, to your hike. But it just opened up a year or two ago, I think, or well, last year, um, that spur trail right here. And it comes right out, comes right back out. I'll show, you saw it on, the, on our video. And, but th from here down... It took us two and a half hours or longer to come down here. It was it was like forever, and and just this gray area was really technical. We kind of almost lost the trail a couple of times. Henna was the one sniffing ahead. She she kept us on the trail. So when you lose the trail, just stand there for a minute and get and look around, and you'll see the the. Uh, uh, um, I want to say Korans, they're not Korans, they're Carrions, that's it, Carrions. You'll see them, and I just follow those all the way down. And then right about here, the trail kind of flattens out a little bit and becomes more forest. All of this here, you're going to be on ledge, and, uh, and like four foot, five foot trees. So right about here, then you get into the forest again, but it's all coming down. You'll get water in this area too. There's, you'll be following a river down, or a brook rather, down here. So if you don't have water up there, just hang in there a little bit. You'll be able to fill up right over here. And then you'll come down into the parking lot. Now, in the future, if you wanted, this is all downhill, basically. So what you could do is park your car up here, hop on a bike, and ride your bike down here, and stash your bike in the woods somewhere, you know. And then, you know, if you're going to do this loop or if you're going to start and go this way. Uh, we met, we met a younger couple going up this way and, and they were just beat. It just took forever to get up there. I think, I think going up this way was harder than going up here. This was steeper and shorter, but this just seemed to just go on and on and on. So, I mean, I'll leave it up to you. Um, but that was the rundown for all this. Um, uh, plenty of water in here, um, I didn't see, we had to hang all our food. I didn't see any beer cables, any beer food boxes. I didn't see any of that in these uh, tent sites. So I don't know, um, you know, I don't know where they were. But they, they're listed, some of, the, some of the documents that you'll run into when you do your research on this here trail, they state that they have it, but I don't know where they are. Um, so this was all part one. And then uh, hopefully in the next week or two, um, we're going to do part two. We're going to come up here. 
I'm probably I, there's no way I'm coming up here. When you see that, I mean, you're, you're gonna. I mean, if you're looking for a challenge, you can come up this way and go this way. But you're gonna be going up a wall. This this looks extremely tough coming up this way. So we're gonna we're gonna start here. And this is and they added they just added this campsite here, which is nice because that wasn't there. This is we we I ended up getting this map. It was up here at the little kiosk. Uh, they had a pile of these new maps up here, so I grabbed it because I went to the Lincoln st map store there in Lincoln, New Hampshire, and he didn't have anything like this. Um, and he did tell me at the time that they, he thought they opened up a new tent site, and um, this confirms it right here. Uh, we didn't actually see it, but here it is on the map. So this will this is about a mile and a half in, so you could come here late in the day, hike in, and spend the night here. And then you can uh, work in. I would say you, for an average person, it takes two days to do this. I mean, if you are coming off the AT and you've been doing twenty to thirty miles a day, you you could probably do this in a day. Yes, so you could do this whole loop in a weekend. Uh, you know, we the wife works all week; she just gets to hike on weekends. This is a two. You know, I I believe the average hiker. This is a two day jaunt just to do half very very technical i i just don't know how anybody can do this whole thing in a weekend i heard there are people that can do it i don't know i i really don't know um so keep that in mind i would uh i would i would give yourself a weekend to do half and um and then do the other half on another weekend but if you're practicing for the long trail, if you're practicing for the AT, this is the trail you want to hit. This is the closest thing to actually doing those two trails. It was everything that those trails have. Um, so that's all I can say. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe, pass the word along. Uh, we're going to be doing this one here very shortly. I'm just waiting for my gear to come in. I'm going, I'm switching over to a hammock. That was another thing too. If you have a tent, forget about finding flat spots. Uh, up here, we were on a three inch slope. Down here, we were on a three inch slope. I couldn't find any flat spots, you know, perfectly level. Um, so that's why I'm going to a hammock. Uh, it's just going to make doing the long trail in the AT next year a lot easier to find stealth campsites. When I did the AT earlier this year, it was a race to each shelter to try to get the one or two flat spots with all the other ATers heading north. It was really tough. And I don't think, I don't remember out of the 170 miles I did last April on the AT, I don't think I was on a perfectly level site at all. Um, so keep that in mind. If you want flexibility, you want mobility, you want comfort, I would highly recommend going to a hammock. I really do. Um, so that's just my two cents. Okay, um, see you on the next video.